Alright, hey guys, it's me, Paul, here, and uh, I want to talk today about tessellation. Uh, tessellation's a really cool thing that's starting to come in on uh, graphics cards. Um, I'm going to apologize. Frost makes me run this very, very slow. Usually I'm running this about uh, about 35 frames per second. Um, if you can't hear that roar in the background, that's my new uh, GTX 465 running at 100% fan speed. Uh, with a 83% GPU load, just keeping it cool. But notice on here how the dragon itself has all these spikes, um, and it it takes a lot for the computer to render that. Um, so this is if you have if you have an old let's say you have an older graphics card, and you um, let's just say you have an older graphics card. This is what it's going to look like to you. Wait right, one second. Gotta find my mouse. There you go. It's going to look like this. This is without tessellation. As you can see, we'll turn on the wireframe. This is what it's calculating. There's a lot less um, polygons within it. So, yeah. Now, we're going to enable tessellation. And suddenly, it's working on a lot more. So, what I'm going to show you is that what it's actually doing. So what, it, what what the idea of tessellation is, sorry, is that anything up close, ah, there you go, anything up close, it will render more. There'll be more polygons per whatever, more, just more high density polygons. Putting more strain on your graphics card, right? Well, then the idea is, is that anything farther away, it'll actually turn off tessellation. So, it's not that bad. It's not running the whole scene. Oh, sorry. It's not rendering the whole scene. It's not I just woke up. Not rendering the whole scene in such a high quality. Now I can show you this. So let's see. So here is an up close view of the dragon. As you can see, very dense and very white. But as we start going back here, do you notice that? Quality lowers. And that's what it's doing. It 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 it's seeing that you're so far away that you wouldn't need to know that each one of these is a step. You know? Like, okay, if we look here, let's do this. These steps right here. We turn, if we turn off tessellation, each step has individual grooves and stuff like that, right? So now, so that's what it looks like. It looks like a basically just white. Go back here. And then suddenly the quality will lower right here. It's now rendering as each individual step is just a s kind of a square. And it looks like that. You can't really tell the difference. But if we go even farther out to here, it just thinks that the step is one big flat square. So that's really, really cool. Um, so as we get closer, you can't see it without your without the wireframe on. But it's actually just degraded quality uh, as we go out. But you wouldn't need to see it anyways. I mean, I don't think much, uh, many computers, or say many monitors can see that type of detail from, you know, this far away. And I don't think many people actually kind of care. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of a little look at tessellation. This is on uh, all the new graphics cards. Uh, so, you know, your GTX, basically the GTX 400s now. Um, I know for a fact that NVIDIA makes the best graphics cards for tessellation. That's what they claim. Um, but, at least that's what I've heard. Uh, but anyways, so right now I'm running a GTX 465 in my computer. Um, but it's, it's, it'll be avail it's, it's available any DirectX 11 or OpenGL. Um, I'm having problems with DirectX 11 right now due to me still be on Vista Service Pack 1 and my computer not wanting to change. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, whatever. So, yeah.